I think for Tom Brady's own legacy, the biggest reason he would be considering retirement at this point would be because he does not want to have a year where the wheels are falling off when he's been known as the guy who could compete every single year forever, no matter what. Tom Brady, more than most anybody that I have seen, cares about his legacy. He cares about how he goes about his business, how he's viewed. He doesn't want to go out like Peyton Manning, where his arm was falling off and they won the Super Bowl anyway. 2015, Peyton Manning couldn't throw the ball seven yards, and they ended up winning the Super Bowl because they had an unbelievable defense. Tom does not want that. And so I think he made a cognizant decision in – uh, when he left the Patriots, that he wanted to have more fun. I mentioned the social media. So he came out with, with his different stuff. He wanted to do stuff you couldn't really do when you were with the Patriots. He did it because he was Tom, but he's still, I mean, Darrell Rebus was on video last week, or, uh, or at least that's when I saw the video, saying like, listen, I won a Super Bowl in New England, but it wasn't fun. The price you pay for playing in New England is that you get to win the Super Bowl, but you sacrifice all your fun. So you get your rings, but you don't have any fun doing it. He said, he, you know, he's like, you can find there are other ways to win, I think was his quote. And so Tom had talked to all these guys. He knew that football could be more fun. The problem is he picked a guy in Bruce Arians here that I think the wheels are going to fall off. There are, he, he, to me, is the NFL version of Ed Orgeron. He had a great year with the right guys, and it all worked. And then... After you let guys be themselves for too long, the wheels start to fall off. So Tom Brady was used to a tight ship where the wheels never fell off. If Randy Moss started talking about his contract, he cut him. You know, he had single years. A keep to leave got a little bit out of hand. It was it was time to go, right? Um, it was a tight ship. I think the Bruce Arians thing, we started to see a measure of it with Antonio Brown. Well, Antonio... We'll bring him back because we need him, even though we know he really shouldn't, doesn't have any business being on this team with his behavior. Doesn't matter while in the middle of the game, he quit the team and ran off without a shirt on. So I think the wheels are in the process of falling off. I think Godwin's a free agent. Byron Leftwich right now is interviewing for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Todd Bowles may be gone. There are a lot of things that are starting to fall apart here. I think for Tom Brady's own legacy, the biggest reason he would be considering retirement at this point would be because he does not want to have a year where the wheels are falling off when he's been known as the guy who could compete every single year forever, no matter what. In 2006, he went to the AFC Championship with Rashad Caldwell as his leading receiver. He's always the guy that makes it work. He doesn't want to go out as the guy who had a 7-10 and 10 season and then retired because it doesn't work anymore. Mm. It's interesting you say the wheels may come off and Bruce Arians may have let things get out of hand, but Bruce Arians is the guy that I think didn't want Antonio Brown. He got in bed with Antonio Brown to please Tom Brady. And so if the wheels are coming off in Tampa, Brady's played a little bit of a role in that. Fair enough. Fair enough. And I think he, you know, Tom was the one who wanted him to be in New England where it didn't work out. And he brought him there. And then when he went to Tampa Bay, I think Tom is at the point of his life where he he knows he needs the weapons. He had plenty of years without the weapons in New England and he was still making it work. But he needs the weapons at this point to go win more Super Bowls towards the end of his career. 